Hi everyone, we are going to have some fun with epoxy. Stick around and let me know what you think down in the comments. So starting out with about a seven inch round of maple and as you can see drilling several holes into it in which I will be pouring epoxy. So using Total Boat Epoxy 2 to 1 with the medium hardener, there's a discount code in the video description if you want to grab some for yourself and save some money at the same time. Using several different uh, powder pigments here. I will link them all in the video description in case you want to get some for yourself. And pouring the colors in uh, at random really. There's no pattern here. So do me a favor, please subscribe. I'll wait. Thanks for subscribing. Now we can get this thing mounted on the lathe using a center finder here to mark the center and I'm going to be using a small face plate And where you see the holes with the resin in them, that's going to be the bottom of the bowl. So even though this is round as purchased, it still needs to be trued up. So that's what I'm doing here with the Carter and Son bowl gouge. The RPM at this point is around 600 RPM. Changing the tool rest to get a better angle to start that curve and also start to flatten out the bottom. I'm going to be using a tenon here. The reason for using a tenon is that I didn't want to waste the, some of the depth of the bowl by using a mortise. So tenon it is. So using some push and pull cuts here. Adjusting the tool rest again. And just softening that corner. It looks like cotton candy. And sanding, sanding and sanding. Sanded from 80 to 600 grit on this piece. And although I never actually show it, and I should, maybe I'll do a shop tour again soon, but the dust that you see going towards the wall, that is where my dust collector uh, hose is located. Switched here to the skew chisel to flatten out the tenon and the area around uh, the tenon so the chuck jaws have something to sit flush up against. And I'm just sanding this piece and using the air gun to uh, blow off the, the dust. And that uh, color resin is very bright pink. This is denatured alcohol to clean the surface before applying the sanding sealer. And I haven't applied sanding sealer yet. I'm waiting until uh, the piece is hollowed out and then applying it all at once. Sometimes on a piece that's small that I can do a little bit more quickly, uh, I don't want the shavings going on to uh, wet-ish or not quite dry sealer. 
because it because I would get impatient and start to turn it. On larger projects, sometimes this is a good place to stop and come back, but hollowing it out here uh, again with the Carter and Son bowl gouge. And like I said, this is not a huge bowl, so it doesn't take a whole, even though this is sped up quite a bit, it's, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to hollow this out, especially with sharp tools. But I do stop and as you may notice, I switched to the uh, interior curved tool rest by Robust Tools. It is linked in the video description something that I have that I put off purchasing and wish I had purchased it a year before I did. Something that you don't know how you lived without. This is the Carter & Son 1 inch round nose scraper which is newish to me and I love it. Highly recommend Carter & Son and I am not affiliated with them in any way nor do I get paid to say that. 80 grit here. And again, just as the outside, I stand from 80 grit to 600 grit. Taking the whole thing off of the lathe to fix uh, a little uh, void in the resin. And, and I'm going to be using a Starbond CA glue for this. I'm using the thick because it's what I have, but you could also use medium here. Also using the Starbond accelerator to make sure it dries as quickly as possible. I start well, with sanding the inside after the uh, Starbond uh, dried and I don't think I show it but I do end up uh, turning a little bit of it off as you may be able to tell here that I didn't film. So I think I used the uh, round nose scraper and then sanded and used denatured alcohol and here we are applying sanding sealer to both the inside and the outside. Denibbing it here with 600 grit sandpaper. And then on to the Axe Abrasive Paste. Hey, as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you are not subscribed, please go ahead and get subscribed so you don't miss any of the content uploaded at least weekly on this channel. And be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when something new is uploaded. This is the Axe Polishing Paste. And I've mentioned it in previous videos, but in case you're new here, I do have a teachable course that I am teaching Everything you need to know to get started in wood turning, I will link it in the video description. And as always, if you want to support PF Wood Turning on YouTube, check out the video description for ways to do that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I have some new patrons that I'm going to put up at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around and if you want your name up there, Check out how to become a patron for PF Wood Turning. Here are the beauty shots. Until next week, peace out.